Welcome to the Tail Labs Optical LAN installation series video, Installing the OLT-1. The purpose of this video is to provide instruction for the installation and initial configuration of the Tail Labs Optical LAN OLT-1. The topics covered in this video will be an overview of the OLT-1 and the parts needed for installation, and a demonstration of the installation and configuration process. The Telabs OLT-1 is a one-rack unit, 19-inch form factor optical line terminal. The OLT-1 is AC powered with optional redundant power supplies. The shelf supports eight PON service ports with XFP selectable 10 gig XGS PON or GPON connectivity. Each port supports up to 64 ONTs and 512 UNI ports for a total of 4,096 Ethernet ports for the OLT. There are four ports of a gigabit ethernet and two ports 10 gigabit ethernet for network uplink interfaces. The OLT-1 is environmentally hardened for support of a wide variety of mounting options. The parts required for the installation of the OLT-1 are the FlexSim OLT-1 unit, four rack mounting screws, an optional secondary power unit, one or two C13 AC power cables, depending on how many power units are used, SFP or XFP transceivers for the initial network uplink, and the XFP PON transceivers needed for the PON links. These come as either GPON or XGS PON. The tools needed for the installation are a screwdriver or a nut driver, adequate for the rack mounting screws, a Phillips head screwdriver, a computer terminal configured for COM port serial communications, and a male-to-female DB9 serial cable with no null modem. The OLT-1 comes equipped with a single integrated power rectifier. This rectifier is powered with the left AC plug input. A second rectifier can be installed in the unit to provide power redundancy. The secondary power unit is AC powered by the right input. To install the secondary power unit, open the left front panel by removing the four mounting screws. Slide the power unit into the OLT-1 until it is fully seated. Replace the front panel cover. Next, secure the unit to the rack. Attach a ground wire from the chassis to a known building ground. This can either be a common ground bar on the rack or the rack itself if the rack is properly grounded. Install AC power cables. Once power is applied, the unit will begin to power up cycle. The stat LED will light red during the power up diagnostic. This should take up to 45 seconds. Then the stat LED will begin to flash. This indicates that the system is booting up. This may take a few minutes to complete. Connect a serial cable between your terminal and the OLT-1 at the DB9 interface. You will need a male-to-female cable with no null modem. Set your terminal to a speed of 38400. When the boot-up is complete, the OLT-1 will report that it is okay to log into the system. The default admin username is admin. The default password for this user is Telabs, all lowercase. Once these credentials are accepted, the card will prompt you to create a new password for the user. After entering the default password again, check the password requirements and create a new password. At the command prompt, enter wiz em tn run. This will initiate the turnup process. When prompted, confirm the turnup. 
Then enter the number of ESU cards to be used, the number of uplink interfaces to be used. One is adequate to establish element management. Other uplinks can be added later in the EMS. Identify the TID, the port speed, and the number of ports for the management uplink. Establish whether LACP will be used. And establish whether element management traffic will be tagged or untagged. Identify the VLAN for the element management communications. Identify the VLAN priority for the management. Next, identify the IP stack that will be used for this OLT, whether IP version 4, IP version 6, or both. Next, enter the IP address for the OLT, as well as the network mask and the default gateway. Confirm what you have entered is accurate and apply the configuration. The card will then reboot. Make sure that the OLT1 is connected to the network on the appropriate uplink port. When it is completed rebooting, the status LED will be a solid green. The uplink will show traffic and the terminal interface will indicate that it is okay to log in. Log into the card again using the new password. At the command line, type in the command ping and the IP address of the Panorama EMS interface. This should indicate a positive response. If it does not, check the turn up configuration by using the command wiz em tn show. Corrections can be made by running the wiz emtn run command again. This concludes this video. In it, you have learned an overview of the OLT1 and the parts needed for installation, and a demonstration of the installation and configuration process.